We wanted to learn about extra senses, so I talked with Josh Sunquist. Greetings. How are you? Good, man. Good to be on the show. And Hank Green, again. Hello, Hank. Hello, Greg. Now, this week, Hank, we're talking about senses. And one of the things we want to talk about is extra senses. I hear that there are many more senses yes. other than the basic five. There are thousands of senses. Sou thousands? Thousands I, of I senses. I did not hear that. It depends on how you count. Some chemists would argue that every smell is a different sense. We have a chemical receptor for every separate smell you've ever smelled. This is obviously not the right way to count senses. It's probably a little easier for people to wrap their head or heads around five senses. Yes. And the sight and smelling and touching and stuff like that. Which I think Aristotle came up with. And he's just, he, Aristotle is wrong about everything. But mm -hmm. that's because science hadn't been invented yet. Are there other senses? Like... There, there are other senses besides the five senses. The, the most obvious one is the sense of balance. Equilibrioception is the one in your ears. That can feel uh, spinning, right? That's what makes you dizzy. And it can also feel acceleration. You have a sense of what is up and what is down. Mm -hmm. And when you lose that sense, it is terrible. What, uh, what other senses? Um, there's something called proprioception. I've heard of this. Proprioception is the sense of your body in space. Or another way to say it is... The sense of where your body parts are. Mm -hmm. So you can close your body and you still know where your nose are. Proprioception is hardwired into your brain in a sense that if you lose a body part... For example, people who don't have their arm anymore your brain is still looking for those like proprioceptive nerve signals to come. They still think phantom that limb. It's there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, a really fun fact to me about phantom limb pain, it's any part of your body. So people that lose a hand, a nose, an ear, uh, a, even a, a private part, let's say, like you will still feel that sensation, like sensation from that, that part of your body in your brain. By the way, this is a weird question. Can you see I have one leg? Because I think that that's an important like credibility factor. I do see that. When I was a kid, when I was nine years old, I had a rare form of bone cancer called Ewing sarcoma. And I had some chemotherapy, it didn't really work, and so my leg was gonna be amputated. And when that happens, the doctors give you a lot of talks about you're gonna go through you know, the pain and the physical therapy and stuff. And one thing they do tell you is about phantom limb pain. So you wake up from surgery, and I felt like my leg was sticking like straight up in the air, like perpendicular to my body. Mm -hmm. And it was like, it was just the weirdest thing because it was like, I couldn't move it. It was like stuck straight up in the air. And then the really frustrating thing about phantom limb pain, of course, is that you feel all this pain in the body part that doesn't exist. Phantom limb pain. Yeah, I'm in this For me, it felt like uh, thousands of, of like needles being like stuck into the foot on the leg but and 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 you keep like you know you close your eyes and you open it and and there's no leg there even to this day i find it a very like bizarre and almost like creepy phenomenon that that happens one theory about why people experience phantom limb pain is this let's imagine a building that has like a security camera room like where the security guard sits right and he has all these panels and each panel is connected to one camera in the building and then let's say that one of those cameras the cord gets severed then what do we expect on the screen? Some kind of static signal, right? Mm. Because the camera's still there, it's still expecting a signal to come through, but mm. there's no signal coming. Mm. And so a lot of people think that's what causes phantom limb pain is your brain is hardwired to expect a signal, in my case, from the leg. The leg gets cut off, the brain's still looking for a signal, but there's no signal there. In other words, it gets static because there's just, there's nothing there. One of the really weird things about phantom limb pain is how on the one hand it can be debilitatingly painful, but there's not a lot that doctors can do for it, although much research has gone into it. Uh, and it turns out that typically the most effective treatments turn out to be incredibly uh, rudimentary. For example, for me, the thing that really like changed the game for me is, you know, after I lost my leg, you know, this nine-year-old kid, just sitting in bed, just writhing in pain, just couldn't sleep at all. And what made the difference for me was my mom rubbing my real foot, my right foot that was, that was still there because, uh, and I'm not a neurologist so I don't understand all the neurology here, but because your brain, uh, it doesn't necessarily always differentiate between which side of your body you're receiving a signal from. It kind of can like override the, like, the absence of a, of a nerve signal from your left leg now you have this nerve signal from your real existing leg, my mom rubbing my foot, and all of a sudden it's like the pain goes away. And same deal today, like if I'm laying in bed 
and I, I like can't sleep because I have phantom limb pain, I'll like lift my foot up and just like rub my foot for a while, and all of a sudden it's just the pain goes away. Not only do I still feel my leg there, like I can I can sense each individual toe, and I can move my ankle, like literally right now. I'm flexing my ankle. <laughs> I don't know if you could see it there. I it might have been kind of invisible to you. I but didn't it's like see I close it. my eyes and I'm just like I'm just like doing like like this yeah. with my ankle, like <laughs> in, in my mind. And I can like takes a it's weird, I don't know why, but it takes a lot of concentration. And I yeah. can like yeah, I can kind of wiggle the toes still. Which <laughs> I just think is so weird, right? <laughs> and I don't know why, like I don't even know if 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 I'm doing something like muscular skeletally to do that or if it's literally just in my brain sending the normal signal to the ankle and then my brain thinking oh yeah that ankle's moving I can feel it <laughs> well, like how weird is that right yeah thanks Josh and Hank up next we asked you to talk about your sixth sense and many of you did and none of you can see dead people apparently unless I'm dead am I dead <laughs> <laughs>